Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Nuggets News. Well, today we're going to be talking all about another asset class or sector or theme in the crypto space that's becoming really hot recently. That is the real world assets um, tokenization and bringing those assets on chain. So we're going to talk about some of the best projects um, in that space as well as revisiting um, what's happening. Now we've seen what BlackRock have committed to this $10 trillion um, vision of bringing real world assets on chain. They're one of the largest asset managers um, in the world. They've recently announced um, this partnership and this tokenized fund on Ethereum through Securitize. Now, if you're a long time subscriber to the channel, you will have heard of these guys before. So it was five years ago when we started talking about security tokens and the best companies uh, that were likely to um, make this all a reality. So it's great to see that Securitize have been busy in the background um, during the bear market. And in the past, we've spoken all about the legalities of this um, and how it all works, but let's just revisit that quickly. So bringing any um, commodity or, or asset, real estate, carbon credits, you know, artwork, bringing all this stuff from the real world um, into a digital form to have it um, more freely tradable, um, globally available, you can fractionalize the ownership, um, you know, attach the identities in different ways, all these types of things that we've spoken about over and over um, across the years. But what I think is really interesting in the way to think about this is to think about what um, I guess ETFs have done and asset managers like BlackRock as they bring out say a gold ETF or the, the oil ETF and these other commodities um, and more recently, the Bitcoin ETF, it allows a lot more money to easily flow into it and out of it, increasing that liquidity. But I think, you know, one of the problems we've seen in, say, the gold and silver market, people talk about how there's too much um, paper trading. So just contracts and futures going back and forth that don't represent um, the real assets. So by tying things um, or pegging things in this tokenized digital form on chain, hopefully it's going to be a, an overall net positive and maybe a move away from those futures contracts that America and the US markets you know, really dominate that space and some would argue maybe suppress the price um, to more open free markets and true price discovery. Now, if you think about all the users of money that BlackRock has under management, I want to talk about how um, Coinbase are now using their layer two base chain to bring more people into the, um, I guess, web three or decentralized ecosystem. So Coinbase with their 100 million plus users, now they're shifting a lot of what they're doing onto their layer two base chain. And so they've already got that user base. So a lot of people that are now in the Coinbase ecosystem are using layer twos without maybe realizing it. And this is very similar to what's going to happen if BlackRock and all these large asset management managers and people with accounts and money with them already um, are now starting to utilize or have access to these um, these digital tokens and bring assets on chain. Now, the problem that we face here, which is uh, a large problem that's been spoken about and debated and many papers written about over the years, is the blockchain oracle problem. So if you're bringing something from the real world, the physical world or meat space as it's known um, onto a blockchain or into the digital world, how do you verify it? And that's the job of, of oracles. And so there's different um, protocols, projects and companies taking different um, approaches here of how do you ensure that that data or that real world asset, what you're saying is there actually exists um, to that asset that you're now putting in, in the digital form. So Chainlink is obviously the most well-known um, you know, been around for years, big community, all that type of thing, starting to, or not starting to, they are doing this really well and making plenty of partnerships and that sort of thing in the Oracle space. Another one that we've done some research on is um, Pyth Network as well. So these companies are really important. A lot of value can accrue here in this, you know, the picks and shovels of this space. So if yes, you believe that this is another bullish theme, Yes, you believe that there's a lot of money going to flow here and assets become tokenized. The companies that do this are going to get their clip. Um, but the those that verify the data, the Oracle companies have also should find a way to make good revenue and money from everything that's happening here with the verification that they're doing. So there's something else just to think about before we dive into the actual companies doing this themselves. So as I mentioned, we've been speaking about this for five years. We covered this again in depth um, over a year ago now in our premium group and gave you a list of 10 or so companies that we thought would be at the forefront. 
we've revisited a number of times. So hopefully, hopefully those of you that have um, followed the channel or um, in our research group and platform have done really well because some of these projects are, are really starting to pop up. We've got our real world assets um, portfolio there and you can see which ones um, I actually own as well in, in my portfolio. But let's dive through and have a look at a few of these um, and just check them by market cap and see the growth that they've had already. Um, for you to do a little bit more research of your own, decide which ones you like or whatnot. So the first one's um, Zen Finance. They're actually um, migrating to RWA, Real World Asset Token as well, if you already own that one. Um, they've had a really good run recently, like a lot of these projects. So going from you know two cents to 30 odd cents and now sitting at 40 uh, million market cap. Next one up is Mantra. So Michael's spoken a fair bit about this one. Um, Regulatory compliant real assets infrastructure layer one blockchain. That's already sitting at 600 million market cap and had a really good run from again two cents to 80 odd cents just in the past few months. So I still think we we're fairly early, but again, it's those that did their research that have been really well rewarded with some massive gains already. Uh, Maple Finance, this is a fantastic one that I think we first covered again um, a number of years ago and recently. Um, had a great run over the past 12 months from a few dollars up to nearly $30. They're currently sitting at 200 million market cap. Uh, Realio, the future of private equity is digital. Um, I'll link all these websites in the description down below for you as well, guys. This one's uh, at 120 million fully diluted market cap, and it's run from 20 cents to over $2, again, 10x in recent months. Next up, we've got Florence Finance. We're starting to get into some more speculative stuff as well that our um, Alpha Research team has been looking into. So as always, um, this stuff is more risky. Um, do your own research and so on. But I just wanted to share a few of these for you guys um, to dive into that are interested. Now, some of these have got um, minting as well. You can actually buy physical assets if that's the way you want to speculate and so on. Um, but Florent Finance only at 4 million market cap. Um, and it's been chopping around a little bit recently, so still relatively unknown. Uh, Alliance Block, decentralized tokenized markets, some good partnerships, um, the art banks there. This one has had a good run recently from lows of around $0.05 cents to $0.25 cents and currently sitting around $180 million market cap. Um, next up, Chintai. Leading business into the regu regulated digital assets frontier, marketplace, infrastructure, blockchain as a service. Um, this one already at 240 million fully diluted market cap and it had, has, has had a big run from less than a cent to 25 cents in recent months. On though, this is one of the biggest players already. So institutional grade finance on chain, um, number of ways to earn yield, stable coins, US treasuries, money markets, and so on. This one's already sitting at 1.3 um, billion market cap or 9 billion fully diluted. So yeah, it's had a good run. This is, as I said, one of the most mature and largest ones already, so be aware of that. Into one that's pretty um, speculative now, um, that's LandX. So these guys have got ways to get involved with land and commodities. You can um, buy land, buy those commodities in the forms of F NFTs and digitalized tokens as well as speculate on the land x governance token itself which is currently only at 10 million market cap and again it's had a pretty good run the last few weeks as um this has emerged more widely across crypto twitter and i guess other researchers jumping on and realizing that yeah this this narrative is one of the next big things so look guys that's just a quick whip through again for all our research um, head over to the website we have now added um, crypto payments as well i know a lot of you are starting to make good paper gains and want to sign up by paying with crypto rather than with um, fiat currency for all our research. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that one. Um, let me know your favorite real world assets projects down in the description below. Um, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, share these videos around and I'll talk to you again soon. Cheers.